Hey, what's up? It's Andrew from Black Tie Inc. And welcome to a quick tutorial on how to make uh, an extremely basic login, uh, username and password type application in WinForms uh, in the language of C Sharp. So let's get this started. So first, we are going to open uh, Visual Studio. There we go. And when you open Visual Studio, it's going to look just like this. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to File new and project or control shift n so we're going to click on windows form application and let's give it the name of login app application and that's where it's going to be saved to and the solution name awesome so visual c sharp Windows form, name, OK. So the cool thing about WinForms and WPF is it's extremely customizable. Uh, WPF being uh, a little bit more uh, advanced in most cases, uh, but WinForm gets the job done. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Toolbox, which is going to show all the little, uh, all of the all of the like sort of things you can add on to the window. So what we're going to add is a button. So we can just drag that in. So just click and drag. Let's make the button a little bit bigger. And then we're going to scroll all the way down to T and add not one, but two text boxes. So let's just line those up so it looks nice. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to rename these all these components okay so this is going to be the username so let's go ahead and go to name and change this to text user so we know that that's the username uh, for the password box we're going to change that to text pass just so that you know in the actual code what each thing is. And for the button, let's just put login. And another thing we can do is instead of it saying text one, or sorry, uh, button one, we can scroll down to where it says text and change this to log in. So it changes right here on the screen. All right, so this is what it's really gonna look like. Uh, you could add um, uh, like something that it already has that you that already says um, you can add like a label so it already says text but this is really simple and we really don't need it right now uh, another thing we're going to do is we're going to go to project add windows form so you're going to see why we're going to have this later so it should be windows form right there and then a name we just keep it as form 2 so you just click add and then there it is uh, sorry, here it is, completely empty. Alright, so here, we're going to go on the login button and double click it, which will bring us to the code. So this right here, this method, will let us know, this is this is the uh, button, which we named login, underscore click, so the click method, and object sender, uh, event args e, is basically when the button gets clicked, what to do. So this is where the actual coding will begin. So this is really simple, and we're just going to be using uh, a nested if uh, type statements, which is basically an if statement within an if statement. An if statement is basically like what it sounds like. If this happens, what do you do? OK? So follow along with me. So inside the method, we're going to write if bracket text user, so what we added dot text so what's inside of it equals so let's say our username is uh, user uh, what you could do is you could write this maybe to an any file in the SAML code and then you can let uh, it be the password be added in or the user or password be added in separately but right now we're just gonna have it hard coded bracket uh, squiggly bracket, squiggly bracket, 
and then we're going to do um, so we're saying if the username is correct then we have to check the password so if text pass dot text equals let's just say password let's make the password password then another two squigglies uh, then let's uh, open the new form because you got past both of the uh, except that you got uh, you got past the login so uh, let's go new form Oops. form and what we named this the form what I just put form 2 is what we named uh, the form that we added through project and new so this form right here so this blank one so whatever you name that is what you're gonna put there so new form 2 double brackets dot so the dot is a really big part uh, in C sharp uh, and a lot of programming languages because it kind of adds on the more utilities as you can see just from this alone we have all these things to uh, work on so what we're going to use now is dot show I'm sorry if you heard that, that was just my phone um, double brackets and semicolon, semicolon is like the ending of a statement uh, you only use them in certain situations um, and then next line this so this this form this form that it basically what it sounds like this so this application right here not the form 2 but the form 1 this exact one dot hide so it's saying okay they got past the login let it go away so hide it okay so that's basically that um, so now we have if the username is correct then let's check to see if the password is correct and then if that's correct then open the new form. Usually when you're using if statements, um, we use else or else if. So an else statement would be, so let's say if, oops, if this equals that, then do this. But else, if it does not equal that, then Then let's do message box. Message box dot show bracket uh, quote error. Uh, please enter the correct information, and we can do the exact same thing for if the username is incorrect. So else. Squiggly, squiggly, message box, dot show, error, please enter the correct information. And of course, you can put really whatever you want there that please enter the correct password, please enter the correct username. And really, that's about it. So let's try running it by clicking start. And here we are. So the username should be user. And the password should be password. And if we click login, we get to the new form. So we get to this part of the application to show the form. Or Or we can, if this is incorrect, let's say we put, if we misspell user and we misspell password, please enter the correct information. And let's just put it in correctly, like, oops, I misspelled password and user, P-A-S-S-W-I-D, log in, there we go, perfect. So, thank you guys for watching. 
please if you have any questions leave them in the comments uh, subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed the video if you have any questions or something new you want a tutorial for let me know in the comments below thanks for watching see you later